Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm here to show you these night vision binoculars. Um, these go for around $200 on Amazon. They've got four and a half stars and over 600 customer reviews. Uh, so they're highly rated and they're actually Amazon's choice for thermal binoculars. Here are some of the features as listed on the box. It's a 2.3 by 3 inch screen, 250 to 300 meter range, takes photos and videos in HD. I think it comes with the 32 gig uh, micro SD card as well, infrared LED, and four times digital zoom. So this is what the box looks like, and I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. So here is the company that makes it. So it's uh, JS Tune and it's semi hard case. Wow, look at this. Jeez, wow. I haven't held binoculars in my hand for a long time. Here's an IR plus button, minus button, power, menu, mode, and shot. And there you can see it says far by twisting that uh, clockwise and near is counterclockwise. This is like the front panel. And you can see there's a quarter inch mount right here. Two battery slots, nice rubberized feet, it takes six AA batteries, and it says the micro SD card is included. So let me power this baby up and show you what it's like. Okay, just pop the batteries and the SD card in, and this is ready to use. I'm just gonna hold the power button down. There it is. Oh, look at that display. That's pretty good definition right there. And it looks like I'm ready to use it. So this is the focus ring right here. The right one does not turn, it's only this left one right here, and you're meant to look through this. Um, you can see right now it's video mode at 640 at the top left, um, quality. If I hit mode, it goes to picture and it's VGA quality. I'm gonna hit menu and now you can see I can choose a photo resolution and I'm just trying to see the buttons here. Go down to uh, photo resolution Change that to 1280 by 960. Okay, go to video size. I'm gonna change that to 960p or 1280 by 960. And I'm gonna leave the rest uh, default. So I'm gonna hit menu to go back, okay? So, uh, if I tap this, you can see the light bulb icon in the lower left corner has a number one. That's the IR, infrared sensitivity, and depending on how much batteries you have, if it's full, you can go all the way up to IR level of seven, which is highly sensitive. And then it goes off. Um, and that's how you use it. And then to record, you just hit the shot button depending on which mode you are. So I'll take a couple of shots in the house in the dark just to give you guys an idea. But really this is just an unboxing and overview of this JSTUN night vision binoculars. Um, these feel so nice and hefty. I love that it has this for stable shots. But let me try it out and show you guys some pictures. Hey guys, so I just finished testing this uh, night vision binoculars. Um, 
in the bathroom here. I have a bathroom here and I've always been staring at this spider that's been like making this web in the top corner of the wall and I've just left him there. But I went into the room without turning on the lights and I shot some photos and videos of it. And I have to say, this is pretty impressive. So surprisingly, turning on the infrared uh, mode does help with the picture quality. You can make out the object a lot clearer than if you were to not turn it on and have a color screen of something blurry. Um, so turning on night vision automatically makes it black and white, yet you see a lot more detail. Um, and it looks pretty good. Um, this, this display is surprisingly good. Uh, I know you can't make out much here, but that little dot is like the spider right there. Um, I'll, I'll make a better video of this, but this is me like zooming in to the spider, but look at that detail. Uh, you basically hold down the uh, plus minus buttons right here, uh, and that activates the zoom. If you quick tap them, that activates the IR, okay? Um, and it's really simple to use with the mode and shot buttons and the menu buttons to change all the settings. Um, and this is pretty portable. It comes with a strap for you to wear it around your neck like traditional binoculars. Um, so these are really good. I'm really impressed with this. And for $200, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, binoculars are expensive. They're not cheap. Um, so this is pretty nice. Um, I'm glad I got this. And uh, so far, so good. I mean, I use this indoors, but I'm going to somehow find some time to go outdoors and, and look at like the nightlife that's outside in my backyard, in my front yard. Um, I have a feeling that we have a lot of bunnies out there that are mating at night and, and leaving babies in my yard. Um, so I'm definitely going to try it out at some point, but it's just too cold to go outside right now. But I tried it indoors and it works great as well. Do note that these will not work if you're looking through glass, so don't don't think that you're going to take this and look through your windows and, and, and it'll work. Uh, the instructions say it will not work and you should like at least open the glass so that you have a clear line of sight, okay? Um, so anyways, these are about $200. I think it's a pretty good deal for what this offers. Um, and it includes the SD card. I like that it's mountable on a tripod for steady shots. Um, but uh, check it out on Amazon. It's pretty neat. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.